Hi guys, my name is Mr. Josh. Welcome to Kina English Live Class, Grade 4. Today, let's review vocabulary and structures in date and time topic. Let's look and listen. Hi Anne, how are you today? Hello Ben, I'm good. What day is it today? Mm, it's Saturday. Do you have English class today, Ben? No, I have English class on Monday. Today, I don't have to go to school. Oh, today I have swimming class and I'm very excited. When do you have swimming class? I have swimming class on this next Saturday and I feel scared. Don't worry, let's go inside and buy something to eat now. OK. Let's learn about days of the week and their normal abbreviations. Monday. Monday. You can write it in its short form like this. Tuesday. Tuesday. It looks like this. Wednesday. Wednesday. Thursday. Thursday. Friday. Friday. The short form looks like this. Saturday. Saturday. Sunday. Sunday. Today. Today. For example, today is Monday. Or today is Sunday. Go to school. Go to school. Play football. Play football. Go swimming. Go swimming. Listen to music. Listen to music. Play guitar. Play guitar. English. English. Maths. Maths. Firstly, to ask about the day in a week, we say, what day is it today? The answer is, it is, for example, it is Monday. We use on before a day in a sentence, such as on Monday or on Tuesday. On Wednesday. To ask about our routine, we ask, What do you do on Friday? And the answer is, I go to school on Friday. To ask about his routine, we can ask, What does he do on Friday? And the answer is, He goes swimming on Friday. To ask about her routine, we ask, what does she do on Friday? And the answer is, she plays football on Friday. If you want to ask someone about their routine, you simply say, do you have English class on Friday? We can answer, yes I do, or no I don't.
We do the same with he and she. With he, we ask, does he have English class on Tuesday? The answer should be, yes, he does, or no, he doesn't. With she, we ask, does she have English class on Tuesday? The answer will be, yes, she does, or no, she doesn't. To continue, we have one more grammar point. If you want to ask about the exact time an event is planned, you should use, when do you have, or when is the next, for example, when do you have English class? Or, when is the next English class? And the answer is, I have English class on Tuesday. Or, the next English class is on Tuesday. Let's practice with he and she. With he, we should ask, when does he have English class? And the answer is, he has English class on Tuesday. With she, we can say, when does she have English class? You will answer, she has English class on Tuesday. How about you? What do you do on Sunday? Now, you will read the conversation and choose the correct answer. Question number one. What day is it today? Hmm. It's Thursday. Which is the correct answer? Well done. The correct answer is C. Question number two. Do you have English class today? No, I don't. I have English class on Wednesday. Which one can I choose? A, B, or C? Very good! We choose A. Question number three. When do you have maths class? I have math class on Tuesday. Let's choose one answer. That's right! The correct answer is C. Question number four. What do you do on Sunday? I play football on Sunday. Let's choose one answer. That's right! The correct answer is B. Now, Let's look at the table and write down the information in the sentence. Look at the table and fill in the blank with question number one. Today is... I play the guitar. That's correct! Let's write down the word Sunday. Let's have a look at question number two. I go swimming today. Today is... Amazing! Look at the correct answer now. Okay, we have one more sentence. Let's finish it. I love sports. So, on, I play football. Good job! We choose Saturday to fill in the blank. Hello everyone! It's me, Teacher E. Welcome to Kina English Lab Class Grade 4. Today we'll continue our learning journey. Our topic today is When's Your Birthday? Let's look and listen. A 
Hello, how are you today? I'm very good. What day is it today? Today is Wednesday. And what is the date today? Hmm, it's the 2nd of July. No, today is the 1st of July. Oh, today is my birthday. My birthday is on the 1st of July. Let's have some candy together. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, teacher. teacher. Aw, thank you. Now, let's have a look at some new words with me. First, let's review about months of the year. January, February, March, April, May, and June. We have July, August, September, October, November, and December. And now, let's learn how to say a day in a month. For example, the 1st of January. The next day is the 2nd of January. We continue with the 3rd of January. And other days such as the 14th of January, the 22nd of January, the 31st of January. Next, let's have a look at the vocabulary about dates. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. Next, we have eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, and 20. And finally, we have 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, and 31st. Now, Let's match from the month to the correct spelling. Which month can we match with number one? That's right, it's January, B. Which month can we match with number nine? That's right, it is C, September. And which month can we match with number three? That's right, it's March. We choose A. And which month can we match with number 11? That's right, it's November. The correct answer is B. You use happy birthday when it's someone's birthday. Or on Christmas days, we say Merry Christmas. On New Year's Eve, we say Happy New Year. To ask about the exactly day in a month, we say What is the date today? And the answer is the, for example, it's the 2nd of February. Let's review a little bit about possessive adjectives with me first. We have three subjects, you, he, she. Let's change them into possessive adjectives. With you, we change to your. Your is always used for pronoun you. With he, we change into his. His is used when the subject 
is a male person. And with she, we change to her. Her used when the subject is a female person. Want to ask about the birthplace of someone? You can use "Where is your birthplace?" The answer is "My birthplace is in Ho Chi Minh City." With subject "you," we will change to "your" in the question. Continue with subject "he." We will change to "his" in the question. For example. Where is his birthplace? And the answer is his birthplace is in Ho Chi Minh City. And the last one, with the subject she, we will change to her in the question. For example, where is her birthplace? And the answer is her birthplace is in Ho Chi Minh City. To ask about the dates of your friend's birthday, we use "When is your birthday?" Your friend should answer, "My birthday is on the 14th of October." With he, we change to his. In the question, "When is his birthday?" And answer his birthday is on the first of October. With she, we use her. When is her birthday? And answer her birthday is on the thirty-first of October. Let's practice with me. Are you ready? Look at letter A. And answer me. What is the date today? Very good. The correct answer is it's the first of December. Okay. Look at letter B and answer me. What is the date today? Well done. The correct answer is the thirty-first of August. And now look at letter C and answer me. What is the date today? Bravo! The correct answer is the fourteenth of December. Okay, and now let's listen to the conversation and tick in the correct box. Let's listen to the conversation. What is the date today? It's the thirty-first of August. Which is the correct answer? Yes, correct. A is the right answer. And now let's listen to the next one. When is your birthday? It's on the twenty-second of July. Which is the correct answer? Exactly, it's letter C. And now is the last one. Today is your birthday, right? No, my birthday is on the fifteenth of April. Which is the correct answer? Good job. B is the correct answer. Now, are you ready for the next activity? Let's go. Question number one: Where is birthplace? Which is the correct word to fill in the blank? Yay! You're right. The correct answer is: Where is your birthplace? Question number two: Today is the first of January. What should we say? Correct. We have to say Happy New Year. Now is question number three. Where is birthplace? Now, one more time. 
Which is the correct possessive adjective? Bravo! The correct answer is, where is his birthplace? Thank you so much for watching our live class today. Remember to log in to Kina English and practice homework grade 4, unit 2.